is India researching about making nukes with thorium? Ooh, thorium. What impact will it have if India obtains the technology of making nukes with thorium? Daniel says, how practical is the use usage of thorium as a means of clean energy? India accounts for a quarter of the global thorium reserves. Is it a practical solution to India's power energy needs in the future? How far are we from harnessing thorium-based electricity or thorium-based nukes? Let's see what thorium looks like. Let's Google it. It's a metal. Thorium is a metal. Thorium-232. Tho- Sorry. Thorium. Thorium. It's a metallic element. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Thorium-232. That's what it is. So thorium is not a fissile material like uranium is. Yeah, It can't be used to create nuclear weapons directly. Thorium can be converted into uranium-233, U-233, which is a fissile element and can be used in nuclear weapons. Yeah. So uranium-233 is produced by irradiating thorium-232 with neutrons inside a machine called a reactor, a nuclear reactor. It's not your regular nuclear reactor. It needs a special kind of nuclear reactor called a breeder reactor. So this process of creating uranium-233 out of thorium-232 is not simple. It it requires a special kind of reactor called a breeder reactor. A breeder reactor is a special kind of nuclear reactor which is capable of producing more fissile material than what it consumes. So you can have a thorium-based nuclear reactor which is different from uranium-based nuclear reactors. So it uses thorium is the fuel source, and it breathes new fuel from thorium. So that's what it does. So currently what we have is that there are no commercial thorium-based nuclear reactors in the world. We have various experimental reactors that are being worked on in the world. Many countries have various development programs. India has one of the most advanced thorium uh, research programs in the world. Yeah, India obviously has a, a quarter of the entire world's thorium resources. Yeah. So India is doing that. We have the largest thorium reserves in the world and we are actively uh, researching thorium-based nuclear technology. Uh, and India has been doing this for several decades. I'm not exactly sure where we are at. Yeah, I think the government of India has stated that by 2050, about a third of our electricity should come from thorium-based reactors. So that's about 30 years in the future. By that time, if we can perfect, you know, uh, or, or if we can... Uh, not perfect, but improve uh, the reactor design and all that, then we could start uh, building thorium-based reactors. So that's what we could do. So there is a great uh, amount of potential in thorium-based nuclear energy. Uh, And the reactors can be smaller as well and more efficient, and they will produce less uh, of the harmful radioactive waste that uh, your, your typical normal standard reactors produce. And the, the chances of a melt, nuclear meltdown also are low because the temperatures in a thorium-based reactor are also, are also also lower. So it's a win-win kind of situation. I'm not sure why all the nations in the world, like the US, India, China, France, etc., have not gone fully into thorium-based uh, nuclear uh, power. But it's uh, certainly something that's needs, that needs to happen. Now, the other question is, what about uh, making nukes with thorium? So yes, you can use a thorium reactor thorium-based nuclear reactor to uh, breeder reactor to produce uranium-233. And technically, you can definitely produce a fissile material that can be used in nuclear weapons in a thorium reactor. But, you know, the best way to acquire uranium-235, which goes into nuclear weapons, is to use the naturally occurring uranium ore, which is mostly uranium-238, and to... uh, enrich that in centrifuges. So this is a much more efficient process. It can, it can consumes less resources, less money, and it produces much more uh, nuclear fuel, weapons-grade nuclear uh, fuel than, than a thorium-based reactor would produce. So, so uh, making nukes with a, from, from a thorium reactor is not the ideal way of doing it. Ideally, you you just do it by acquiring uranium ore, which is mostly 238, uranium 238, and then purifying it, yeah, enriching it to weapons grade uranium, which is 90% or more uranium 235. That's how we do it. That's a much more cost efficient and 
overall efficient process using centrifuges and all that so india does that obviously i'm um, yeah that's how it is uh, but i think india should really focus on the thorium nuclear uh, power option uh, i believe that india has one of the most advanced thorium research programs in the world uh, and and uh, the stated objective of the government is to generate at least 30% of india's electricity from thorium based reactors by 2050 so let's go for it we 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 are fortunate to have so so much uh, such an abundance of thorium in india when it comes to uh, the monazite sands on the eastern coast of india and uh, odisha i am i think andhra pradesh wherever it is yeah so we have abundant uh, thorium reserves so we should use this and uh, and diversify our our energy supplies I and mean, this is obviously clean energy it's green energy it doesn't have a carbon footprint or anything so it's it's a it's something that india really needs to focus on and that could really help india in the long run mm-hmm. so that is the deal uh, how far are we from harnessing thorium based electricity or thorium based nukes or not so thorium based nukes are mainly mostly out of the question it it doesn't make sense to have thorium based nukes thorium is not a fissile material you have to create Uh, so uranium 235 is the, is the way to go when it comes to nuclear weapons electricity i'm not sure how far we are we have one of the most advanced programs but i don't know where exactly we are hopefully by 2050 we'll be producing at least a third of our electricity from thorium based reactors and that's uh, and that would be great